In this video I will show you how you can read ebooks in Apple Books app and at the same time listen to what you are reading. This method makes it so better to read because you can read faster and also have a better comprehension. So let's begin! And this also works on both the iPhone and the iPad. In this video I will use my iPad Air 4 2020 because I have the iPhone at the moment recording this video. So I will show what you should do on an iPad. But as I said, it works exactly the same on the iPhone. So first go into settings on your iPhone or iPad. Then scroll down to accessibility as you see there. Now you are in accessibility, then you should go into spoken content. So click on spoken content. Here we have all the stuff that you need to turn on to be able to do this. So first you need to have speak screen on. As you can see I have the speak screen on there. Then after that you should go into highlight content. Click on that and here you see highlight content is on. and for my taste, I think words is the best way to have highlight content. But of course you can choose sentences or words and sentences. And here you can choose which highlight color you should have. The word color in this case. I have the default here, but you can choose blue, yellow, green, pink and purple or so on. The reason why I have default here is because I use both white background and black background on my iPhone and iPad. So I will have the default because then it chooses the best color for black and best color for white automatically. So after you have turned highlight content on, you go down here to voices and as I said you will listen along while reading then you need a very natural speaking voice and since iOS 13 and iPad OS 13 we have neural engine voices for spoken content so this works with the English language of course you can choose your own language here if you want you have different language here I have Sweden even Sweden down here, but uh, the neural engine voices that are very natural only works with the United States voices, what I know of. So let's choose English. That means that you need to have English ebooks. Of course, you can listen to every other language you want, but then you have not so good voices, but they are good enough. But in this experiment and this test, I will show you how the neural engine voices works. And then you need to go into English US and choose Siri. Here we have four different Siri voices that uses the neural engine built into your iPhone and iPad. And the neural engine learns, the more you use it, the better the voice gets. So the more you read books with this neural engine voice, the better the voice gets. And that's really great. And after reading a while with this, it feels as uh, real audiobooks that you have a real person read for you. So that's really awesome. I have chosen the voice one because that is the voice I think is the best, but you can choose any of these. Hi, I'm Siri. Or you can choose. Hi, I'm Siri. Or voice four. Hi, I'm Siri. I have chosen voice one and we will listen to that when having a book later on. So choose which voice you need here in the settings. When you have done that, in the English US, you choose Siri voice, voice one I have in this case. Then you go out again here. You have the different languages as you see here. Then you go out again to here. Here you set which speaking speed it should have. For me, this works best and that is 1.3 in speed that works best for me when you start maybe you will start at 1.0 and maybe you even read a lot better than me you maybe can have even a higher speed but 1.3 is the best for me so that is where you set the speed of the content the spoken content so now we are ready actually to start listening to a book but I will repeat this, you go into accessibility, you go to spoken content, you turn speak screen on and you turn highlight content on 
and you set the voices and you have the speaking rate. One important thing that you see when you have turned speaking screen on, you see down here, swipe down with two fingers from the top of the screen to hear the content of the screen. That is the important thing of this. So now we are ready to listen to a book. So let's go out of settings and now we open Apple Books. Here I have a book. You can either have it like this and see uh, the menu bar and you see pages and so on at the bottom. But uh, I choose to hide that and have uh, full screen mode when reading. I love that. So now we are ready to listen to a book at the same time as we're reading. The important step here is that you should read at the same time as the iPad speaks to you. That's the way to read really fast and read a lot of books and have a really great comprehension too. So just turn two fingers and swipe down. Narrow worlds, our narrow yards, our narrow well-considered lives. The moon worries. We may not know how we know that, but we know it all the same, that the moon watches, and the moon worries, and the moon will always love us, no matter what. This moon watched, but that was where the resemblance to the clean and comfortable moon that had watched over the twins all the days of their lives ended. This moon was huge, and red as a ruby somehow set it to the night sky, surrounded by the gleaming points of a million stars. Jillian had never in her life seen so many stars. She stared at them as much as at the moon, which seemed to be looking at her with a focus and intensity that she had never noticed before. Gradually, Jacqueline tired of running, and moved to sit down next to her sister. And as you can see, it turns the pages for you too, automatically. And that's really great because then you don't even need to turn the pages to read a book. Maybe that's a bit lazy, but I think that uh, makes it even faster to read books actually. So this method even turns the pages for you. This is how I read about 50 books every year actually. I think that's quite a lot, uh, about one book a week so this is the method i use and i can highly recommend that and as you can see when you have this feature on you have this to hide you can hide it by doing this you can also have it to fade away automatically as i show you here so click on that to turn this feature off now you can't listen to the book now you need to turn the pages yourself and read normally as you normally do but if you want you just do this again and here you can pause, you can go back one page, you can go forward one page, and you can even choose different speeds here. So I really love this feature and it works great. The only drawback is that when you have this on and you need to, and this is here, you need to pause. You have to click here and here to pause it. So it's two clicks to pause the book and now you can turn the feature off by clicking there. So this was the method I wanted to show you. You read an ebook but at the same time you're listening along. This works great. Okay, bye.